or maybe now we're going. Oh, okay. Now we're live. Jesus fucking Christ. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. All right. So hello, everybody. I actually already played the intro once, but we'll just go into it. This is episode 52 of The Altar. It's Ben and Yimra tonight. Matt, unfortunately, had a tragic accident driving drunk through a school zone in his Tesla. So, we'll be hoping to see you recovery. What was that? He died as he lived, trying to be me, because I'm just... So cool. Exactly. Except he didn't die. Yet. Yet, but you know how Teslas are. So... I, I still don't know what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, Yimmer, have you been plugged in at all? Been paying plugged attention in. to the news? Um, I had like a week-long bender. Hmm. Um, so the entire last week, um, my entire body is uh, not doing great. I'm going to be honest. The amount, of, the amount of blood that is emptied out of my, my, my nose is is honestly impressive interesting okay. um as far as looking at the news i mean january 6th is gonna be a thing we want to talk about oh that, i guess that is a thing we can talk about i guess since the year anniversary will be on thursday it's, it's a, that's a fun one Ugh. That, that's it's just one of the stupidest things where it's like all right um so these hardcore conservative conspiracy nuts right okay they're going to attack the Capitol, which they don't. They kind of walk mm-hmm. through a tour, basically. The unguided like, tour. Sit at, sit at a woman's desk. And then you're telling me all these hardcore right-wing guys who you always say shouldn't have guns. In a perfect time, you can have an example of them using guns. None of them use firearms in any shape or form. They don't even have them on them. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it makes no sense. Well, one like, guy yeah, they were a real threat, ties. even though they were all unarmed. It just seems a little too weird for me. Well, like, you see, how's that one guy, one guy had zip ties, so you know with zip ties, something really bad was going to happen. I mean, usually when someone has zip ties, a good thing is going to happen. If you know what I'm saying. Well, I know for I sure. Know, of course, how many people do you think in total peed in Nancy Pelosi's desk? Not enough. Not enough. There's never enough. Never if, enough. If I emptied my bladder, if you had an entire New Year's party worth of piss, it still wouldn't be enough. If you if you never saw piss again, it would still not even be enough. Like, just all of it. All the you, piss. We should do, you lock a bunch of dudes in a room for like five days and you give them nothing but yeah. like a little bit of water and just, just Cool Ranch Doritos and that's it. And then at the end of it, you let them out, and then they pee in Nancy Pelosi's desk with their cool ranch Dorito <laughs> piss. They're dehydrated, like, dark brown. It's the worst smell ever, because Cool yeah. Ranch already kind of smells fucking grody. Ugh. That's a, that's, direct, a... that's a direct Bathist attack. Oh, Like, like nacho Doritos, they don't... Like, I got a bag here. They don't smell that. Cool Ranch. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Mm-hmm. It's like when I got sour cream on my, my Doritos Locos Tacos. I asked to not have it, and it literally ruins the whole fucking thing. Mm. Sour cream is disgusting. I don't think I disagree, fuck people but I like understand. sour cream. Oh, okay. Put that on a bagel, All go right. fuck yourself. Who puts sour cream on a bagel? People should be shot. That's it. What the fuck? What kind of New it's York butter bullshit only. is that? Butter only, okay. Or maybe a whipped cheese, but you know, really, there really you go. Yes. a cream cheese of sorts mm-hmm. is also very applicable for you. Maybe don't speak to me about fucking bagels, my friend. I, I don't. I, I think politically, it's been kind of quiet. Honestly, I can't think of it anything really that's has. really happened. Like, like I mean, past tense. Like, I don't even want to do a year review of like everything that's happened because that's kind of like. It's just been shit. It's all just been shit. It's not worth. It's not worth going really over. Not. If I just put in, if I just put in the word news on Google, <laughs> we just do like the the lowest effort news. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> That's what our viewers are here for, the lowest effort. It's it's like that fucking loser on YouTube, Young Yeah, who just literally like talks about gaming news by looking up other articles and pretty much just reading them out loud and explaining a bit. Uh some stupid trial. Uh Sacramento City Unified School District. COVID I don't care. COVID nineteen survivor came out of a coma. DeSantis not surprised Democrats flee to Florida to enjoy life without draconian blah blah blah. Missing child. Elderly Trump children will comply with subpoenas from New York Attorney General. Biden and Harris to speak on Jan 6. 2022, first winter storm brought plenty of snow to parts of New Jersey. I was just there. There was no snow. Gaslighting. Lies. Latest updates on Omicron. New York COVID hospitalizations top 2021 surges. Who cares? Uh, I don't even care about COVID anymore. I really don't. I just, I just don't care anymore. I am the COVID, all right? I'm tired of it. COVID isn't real. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, no, instead we should just talk about, like, twinks. Mm. I mean, we always do anyway. Talk about some twinks, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I, my entire body really just fucking killed me this week. Mm-hmm. It's because you started smoking crack. I, I really overdid the crack this week. I really so much crack. You got to pace it up. I crack. really didn't think out the amount of crack that was consumed. It's okay. Happy you, usually, I'm season. pretty good with with my crack consumption. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm pretty reasonable. You know, smoke a little crack here, smoke a little crack ah, there. You know, it's just a recreational thing. You just do it and take the edge but then, off. But then know? the recreation got very easy. The magnitude of the recreational crack use started becoming not recreational, borderline and on medical need. And then, and then I just didn't eat for like a week. Oh, that's even and then, better. And then, and then, like I was constantly having stomach pains, mm-hmm. even though I wasn't eating. And then when I did eat, I ate like five Doritos Locos tacos, and I'd smoke more crack. <laughs> and now we're here. And now where, we're here. Um, I ate a, a bag of Lay's chips, mm-hmm. some leftover pizza. And like five glasses of Coca Cola, it's it's completely like the complete Your opposite of what I've been eating. Your body is so fucking angry at you right now. It's so bad I right can now. Hear every cell in your body just fucking <laughs> screaming for help. Help! Yeah, there's like, there's Make probably him like drink the some worst water. Week. Maybe the worst week for my health, probably for a while. I don't even have like a New Year's resolution. I think it's just not to die. Yimra, your New Year's resolution right now is to drink water. That's all you need to do right now. You just need to drink <laughs> so water. So crazy because the, cl- the closest things to me that are liquids are the following: Coca Cola, vape juice, cologne, uh, apple pie moonshine, and honey jack. The Jesus water Christ. that's closest to me is the tap water, which I have no problem drinking because I'm not twelve. I can build my tap water. System. Just free little shrimp tap in there. water. Just don't worry about events of the world. Just have some tap water. Just a nice glass of Florida tap water. There's some water in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh boy. No, but eventually I'll, I'll uh, probably, probably not this week because I really, I really don't care. Probably next week I'll actually get my shit back in to get in order. Probably. Once I get another check, then then, then I'm smoking more crank. Mm-hmm. I get my commission check in two weeks. I'm fucking so excited. It's just, uh, yeah, I, I, my, my, my week leading up to New Year's, like that little blank period between Christmas and New Year's was just a little bit like, if I can make a bad decision, I pretty much made it. Well, nothing happens in that time. Nothing that happens in that time matters. It's it's a liminal space. It really doesn't exactly. matter. Like, that's, that's uh, like, yeah. No clue. Yeah, every decision I made was matter. regrettable in some form. It was, it was, um, terrible. Uh, and, and we're starting off 2022. Great. It's the third. Um, let's see. I've, I haven't done anything of note. I married my coworkers on New Year's Eve. That was it. Uh, well, that's, that's like actually like really good. I mean, <laughs> like yeah. Really sweet and cute. This episode's gonna be like the lowest watched one because there is nothing of note. Seriously. 
Uh, yeah, this might this might help a little bit, a little saline spray, a little. Oh yeah, oh right in your nussy. <sighs> Oh, I just can't wait for this blood to start pouring out as it just unclogs it all. Right. I'm really excited for the uh, the high episode we'll be doing with Matt. I'm not gonna lie. The what episode? The high episode. Oh yeah, no, that'd be great. I'll have to go get crack again. So that'll be right, that'll be a exactly. nice. I mean, you don't have it doesn't have to be crack. You can just you can just stick to marijuana if you want to like be boring. Uh, weed weed's kind of cringe though. Yeah, it is, me. but like it's okay. <clears throat> But as a man, yeah, but if I get fucked up on weed, I'll just, I'll just like get sick or like pass out. Get <laughs> fucked up on weed. That's not really a phrase anybody says. That sounds like something. Yeah, except for says. me because I don't smoke. Because and then when I do, weed. I get like into a comatose state where it's I because I just you're a take a fucking. Nap. It's your cop. That's why. That's what a cop says. Hey guys, you want to get fucked up on weed? <laughs> I, I get do fucked like, up on weed. Bro. I'm gonna I do like three four. whole marijuanas. <laughs> If, if if any person has ever seen me, who ever watched this, is, has ever seen me smoke, which is extremely rare, they have known that I pass the fuck out. Like I have to be home, I have to be comfy, with my pajama jams in bed, or I am I am walking home in freezing weather to go take a nappy poo, bro. I'm not. Weed is not a casual drug for me. That is a that is a coma inducing like narcoleptic. Like you that's the shit they should be a... giving to me, like to put me under for surgery. You gotta get a sativa. That's what you need. It doesn't matter what it is. I've I've had those. I've had the hybrid. I've had both. It's just I don't smoke enough, and I hate doing grass. So then I have the oil, and then I, that just knocks me off even worse because I'm not coughing for thirty eight minutes and think I'm drowning my own blood in the paranoia of being high. I'm just not a weed guy to begin with. I don't want to feel more chill. Like I'm already a pretty calm guy. Mm. I don't want to feel like I can feel chill on booze, which I've been doing right now. Which, speaking of apple pie moonshine, nice. God can't judge me if he can't see me. Mm. Uh, uh, mm-mm. Mm-mm. You just know my body has not had a single like good nutrient in it for like a week. Your cells are just screaming. I can just that's, that's a lie. I had I had some dry rub uh, Cajun dry rub wings, so that was that oh was my something. God. They're just I love so, dry rub wings. They're you remember they're in so much pain. <laughs> well, there were I I hate I hate wings like the wet sauce. Like it just it's just so gross and annoying. And like no, the wings fair. themselves aren't cooked good because you just you just drowning it in this fucking flavor sauce. You're not cooking it into the skin. You're not seasoning it. It's just it's just. I can make like the worst fucking wing. It doesn't matter. It's just covered in ping sauce half the time. Why well, always suggest get dry rub? Also, you don't have a mess on your hands for a fucking hour and a half. You got like eight baby wipes. <laughs> fucking gross. This is why boneless wings are superior. They're chicken nuggets for adults. They are, but that's okay because you can eat them with a fork and not mm-hmm. have this issue. But it's always satisfying to eat things off a of bone. It is. It is. It just to, depends to on what the, you do uh, afterwards. Like two or people watching right now. Actually, Bones three. Or... We have three concurrent viewers. Thank you very much. Uh, bone or boneless to anyone who decides to actually comment. Oh, you know, God. Yimmer likes the bone. Yimmer eh. likes the bone in. <laughs> 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 Don't suicide if anyone's on suicide watch now. You're on suicide watch. That's impressive. All day, every day, baby. Well, it's t- today is Monday. That's understandable. Yeah, no. How do I see comments? Like an old man. How do I see the comments? I, I have no idea. You and whippersnappers. We'll never find out. We're just going to assume it doesn't matter. That Whatever. Bone yeah, you guys are better. Yeah, just comment, satisfying? you guys. Yeah, I know you're all going to pick boned in because you're all tryhards. That's fine. We love you, but e- eating eating a boned wing is way more satisfying, though. That you have to agree on. 
It depends entirely on the location and what you're doing afterwards. And also, if it's like a sauce or if it's a dry rub. Because if it's a dry rub, then yes, you're right, boned in is better. But if it's a wet sauce, boneless is better. Yeah, you kind of go with boneless, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Like when I get so wings, don't I fucking get like tell the Thai me. chili and the gold samurai shit. Ooh. You get some of that shit. Ooh. Boneless. Ooh. Oh, okay. Salvis is boneless. Ooh. All right, Salvis is a mortal enemy now. It's all right to say you're not an adult. Adults do what they want, baby. <sighs> I think I just, like, forever altered my ability to function for, like, ease of the month. <laughs> Almost this entire day I was playing Fallout 76 with, like, four randos. It was it was a time. I don't even know what I was doing with myself. Playing Fallout 76, that's what you're doing with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> there should be, like, a sign of, like, just general mental health. Yeah. Like, he willingly played Fallout 76 for, like, a good chunk of the day. And didn't want to kill himself. At least from that specifically. <laughs> Clear sign of mental health issues. Sentenced to death immediately. That's, um... What's that game? League of Legends. Yeah. Just as bad. Let's look through the Discord and see if there's anything worth talking about. What's up, Matt? Oh, shit. All right, everybody. Sorry. It helps if I look up and pay attention. So, looks like we just <laughs> we just lost Diabra. Um, well, looks like it's just me now. So, oh, no. Blue screen. Oh. So, all right. So, while Yibra is gone, um, he has said that I am allowed to speak for him in his place. And he says that whatever I say in this period of time is binding law. And you can harass him about him on his Tumblr. He is officially coming out as an otter. So, this has been a contentious issue here on the podcast for many months now. So, from now on, we should congratulate Yimra for finally accepting that he is an otter. And, yeah, be sure to congratulate him in his inbox on Tumblr um, right now. There's actually no need to keep watching. Go and do that. I'm going to be here. I have at least another 30 minutes to fill by myself. So, yeah, that's that's going to be interesting. So, yeah. Let's see what's going on Tumblr. Oh yeah, Yimmer's going to explode. So I'm going to live blog while I reblog uh, Yimmer's post about his computer exploding. So I know this is something you have all wanted to see for a while. Um, a first person view of based Heisenberg shit posting. So here you go, hijacking the show now I guess. Uh, actually, I don't have anything to say, really. F. There we go. When you can't think of anything else to say, just put F. It's a comedic genius. It works every time. Let's see here. (laughs) 
So Matt is currently driving home to West Virginia, and whenever we do a podcast by ourselves, he's usually watching in the wings like some creepy old dude. Pretty sure he's like playing with himself while he watches us, but that's okay. That's his right. This is his podcast. Um, yeah, so he's currently driving to West Virginia, where he lives. And that's... Alright, that was a good 15 seconds. Alright. Sorry, guys. Um, you know what? Let's let's be unironically looking at news headlines and talking about them. Starting with bullshit on Zero Hedge because why not? Um, hmm. Do I care about anything here? Uh, Theranos' founder, Elizabeth Holmes, is guilty of fraud and conspiracy because apparently women be shopping for things that don't actually exist and duping shareholders out of money. Finally catching up to the white man. Hmm. Got another ship hijacked in the Red Sea uh, by Houthis. That's cool, I guess. Maybe that'll turn into something. Maybe it won't. Maybe nobody cares. Uh, yeah, like there's really just nothing interesting. Like several little things, I guess, happen, but I don't, I don't know what to talk about. Like it's just been kind of a fucking sleepy, bullshitty holiday week. I hope you all had a very wonderful Christmas and a very nice New Year's. Um, I mentioned earlier, I actually married two of my co-workers for the second time. I did one couple back in October and another one now, which is funny because like, I've gone from like never going to weddings to going to four in one year and officiating two. and It's been interesting. It's been pretty cool. And now we're up to five viewers. Five whole fucking viewers. Holy shit. I wonder what the most number of viewers we've ever had on this show at once was. If you guys are leaving me comments, just so you know, I can't see them. Um, I don't know how at this point. I am too afraid to ask. And I'm afraid if I click the wrong thing, the stream will deactivate. So I'm just winging it at the moment. Maybe if I follow the link. Maybe if I do that. We'll go on adventure together, everybody, and see if this works. What's the most number of viewers we've ever had on this show? At one there it is. Okay. Wow. I think I can see comments now. One vote for Boneless. All right. And yes, I did shoot him with my Jewish laser. That's so you exactly know, correct. I can't see. So yeah, I found a way to look at comments, everybody. I'm not retarded. <laughs> it's good to good to stand here in that light, knowing that. <coughs> I feel like it's been a while since... <laughs> Maybe if he stopped smoking crack and bought a better computer, instead things would have played out differently. Yes, exactly. Well, as you all know, we had to buy Yimmer a microphone in order for you to actually be able to hear him. We got him a nice pink one, but, like, it's taken that long to fix that issue. So, Matt, um, what you might have to do is you might have to take Yimmer aside when he drives up to visit you and, you know, find a way to let him earn $2,800 so he can get himself a nice computer because that is what I'm going to be spending on the one I'm going to be getting myself sometime in the next couple months. It's going to be very cool and should be able to do 4K gaming. So that's that's the benchmark right now. So we're about the halfway mark now. And I'm still by myself because Yimmer apparently... I don't know at this point. I hope he's okay. Um, he could just be restarting his computer. He could be fighting off a bunch of feds. Um, I don't know. 
if somebody could check on him, perhaps go to his apartment, kick the door in, and uh, yeah, after that point, I'm sure he'll be fairly malleable, but <laughs> Christ. What's going on, Tumblr? People being horny. Surprise. No, there's just nothing going on. Like, folks, I wish I wish I had something exciting to talk about. But yeah, I'm just I'm just out here, man. I'm just out here just trying to fucking do it. You're not even listening to the chat what? Matt, you whore. You'll text and fucking drive, but you won't listen to the podcast and drive. Yeah, folks, it's more of a lively conversation in the chat, I guess. That's cool. Hmm. Let's see. What other kind of bullshit can I get into? Let's check local Utah news. This is now a local Utah podcast, and we'll be talking about bullshit there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, COVID surge. 14,000 new cases over New Year's weekend. Oh, no. Oh, 14 cases, 1,000 cases to the cold. Oh, fuck. All right, let's see. God, Utah is such a boring state. I love it. Oh, looks like Utah lost the Rose Bowl. Oh, no. Oh, well. It happens. I'm sure all of you care about the Rose Bowl as much as I do. Because you know me, a huge fan of college sports in general. Just itching to talk about the Rose Bowl and everything that happened in the Rose Bowl. And Yeah. Wow. see what's going on their private discord I'm sure this is probably the most thrilling episode you guys have ever watched me just sit fucking sitting here not saying a fucking thing no idea what to talk about Oh, Yimri, you fucking whore. It's okay. We still love him. Company of Heroes 3 is coming out. That could be cool. 
or it could suck, but we'll find out. Oh, Italy, huh? All right, that could be interesting. Coming soon, World War II game. World War II like you've never seen it before, even more World War Tour. Ooh, Warhammer 3. I'm sure Luchador will be excited for that. I'm excited for that. Hopefully they'll fix the fucking battle AI so it's not just blobs of units. Suicide Squad, don't give a fuck. Let's see. Saints Row, another one. Sure, why not? Stalker 2, April 28th. That's right. Dude, I guess this is video games now. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yimra, not Yimra, Matt and Jenny are talking about napping in the group chat in the, the podcast channel. It's, it's great, guys. I've taken some good naps in my time, too. You know, napping's pretty fucking cool. Uh, yeah, naps. Naps. I take that. Wow. Yimra must be fucking dead, I guess. Well, R.I.P. Yimra. R.I.P. Matt. It's just me now. I'm just out here. Fucking holding it down. By myself. Running through the six with no fucking hose. Night, Matt. Old man. <laughs> yes, you, Matt is still driving, so he's going to be sleeping while he's driving. Because apparently Teslas will allow you to do that. You can just sleep with your kids in the back. <laughs> I'm kidding you. Matt is clearly home. It's safe. Because he is a man, he is an excellent driver. If he were a woman, his whole family would be dead. Because women can't drive. They can only shop, twerk, eat hot chip, and lie. That's all they do. Even the ones born before 1993. That's always been true. Back in the day, it was ye old hot chip. Maybe it was like spiced up fucking hemp leaves with some cayenne pepper. That's your slave boy mix for you. <laughs> A little spice leaf to take the heat off those cool winter nights. Oh, Lord. All right. Yeah, Yimra, just hop in from your phone, you slut. Come on. Fucking leave me out here by myself. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'll remember this. Uh, well, folks, if it's just going to be me, I'm just going to give this another maybe 10 minutes. I'm not going to not going to drag this out for a full hour just sitting here playing with my fucking balls trying to think of something to say not that I'm actually playing with my balls by the way I do not work for CNN no balls as for the shaft however that's a different story we didn't discuss that now don't worry this is this is this is a non sex pest podcast even when Yimmer's present we are not CNN Matt's going to be looking at this shit, and he's like, why the fuck did we even do this episode? And I'm like, well, we didn't do one last week, and I have been in, like, working 12 hours a day, so it's been hard for me to come on. So I'm getting the most out of this that I can. And the rest of you who are watching now, two, two, minimum of two people the entire time, sometimes three, four, and even five it's a lovely showing tonight, ladies and gentlemen, on this lovely January 2nd, 2022. Of about a month out from Tuesday, February 2nd, 2022. So 222022. Two, two, two. That is going to be a day. I'm sure there will be no false flag incidents whatsoever. No psyops, no false flags. No propaganda. It's going to be a normal day full of normal things. 
and yeah, normal, whatever that is. Water's good, you know? Like I was telling Yimra, sometimes you just got to drink some water. So I think what I'll do to close this podcast out is I will tell all of you to drink some fucking water. Stay hydrated. You got any dishes in your room? Take them down to the kitchen. Clean up your living space. Wash your ass. Diversify your portfolio. It's a new year. It's a new you. It's a whole new chance to be as based and racist as possible. So wash your ass. And with that, folks, I think I'm going to hit the outro, and I think I'm going to call it. What was that, 40 minutes? That's not bad. All right. Everybody have a good night, and as always, drive drunk at school zones.